You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Monday, November 21st, 2016, cycle day two. I'm Ryan Chindler. And I'm Alex Raymond, and it's super cold in here, and I can't wait to see the forecast. Start it off, Ryan. Make sure to volunteer to face paint with the Art Club on Saturday, November 26th. Get in the holiday spirit and join the Art Club for an hour or more fun with Santa and the children at the Mount Wolf Fire Hall for Santa's breakfast. Exper experience in face painting is not required. Sign up outside the art room or, in, or on Schoology today if you're interested. For more information, see Megan Garland or Mrs. Shedden in room 416. Anyone who is taking the SAT on Saturday, December 3rd, is welcome to sign up with Mr. Brown in room 405 for a crash preparation course. This could be individualized or done in small group sessions depending on the interest. Be sure to sign up today because you do not want to wait until it's too late. Remember, you have five more days to order your, your yearbook before, because after Black Friday, the price goes up. Don't wait. Buy your yearbook on sale while you still can. So the Friends of Rachel Club, also known as the Four Club, is starting a new initiative beginning today. Let's take it to our Four Club representative to learn more about it. Good morning, Northeastern. I'm Mrs. Fitzsimmons, and I'm a special ed paraprofessional here at the high school. I am co-advisor for the Friends of Rachel Club, along with Mrs. Steger. Hi, I'm Isha Patel, and I am the co-president of Friends of Rachel. Um, we are here to introduce an exciting activity for all of you to participate in. Um, it doesn't require a lot of time, but it does require some effort on your part. You see the staff here at Northeastern wearing the It Matters t-shirts because your education matters and every choice you make matters. Well, kindness matters too, and that is what the Friends of Rachel Club, or Four Club, is all about. We want to create an atmosphere that is positive, empathetic, and empowering to all students and staff. But we can't do that just by saying the words. We can only make it happen by our actions and our attitudes. Have you ever walked in the halls between classes trying to get to your next class on time, only to be faced with people pushing and shoving the right past you, bumping into you, not, sorry, not saying sorry, not smiling, maybe even saying mean comments to others? Have you ever been in class and your fellow classmates and talking are talking when the teacher is talking and you cannot hear or focus on your work? Have you ever been at lunch and noticed some students that do not throw away their trash and clean up after themselves? These are some of the reasons I joined Four Club, hopefully changing those negative choices people make into positive ones. Our world is a stressful place to live. We have to follow the rules, study for tests, do homework, fit in with our peers, be involved with activities, take part in family events, maybe even have employment obligations. We as students have a lot going on, but we have a choice as to how we handle those things. Do we get upset and take our frustrations out on all those around us, or do we forge ahead with a positive attitude? I can do this attitude. We and the Four Club hope you choose the positive, I can do this attitude. We have the power within each of us to make a difference. As Mark Merrow stated um, in his assembly, we can make choices that build us up and bring us success and happiness, or we can make choices that bring us down and bring us sadness and hardship. We want you to start a, cha a chain reaction of kindness in our school and make um, a positive atmosphere here at the school. We are not asking for a lot. A smile on your face as you walk the halls, a hello or how are you, a note to someone to thank them for someone, something they did for you, letting someone go before you in the line, little acts of kindness, a helping hand to someone in need, or just a happy, positive attitude. The Four Club is going to start issuing kindness challenges each week, starting on Monday, November 29th. We hope everyone will participate in them, and when you complete the challenge, we would like you to sign your name on the white paper hanging in the cafeteria window. We hope to see that paper completely filled. More importantly, if everyone is completing the challenges, then we should be able to see the results in our halls, classrooms, and hopefully we will start a kindness chain reaction that will transform our school, spread to our homes, and the rest of our community. 
Attitudes are contagious. Choosing to be angry, sad, and depressed and mean will spread to others around you. But choosing to be happy, accepting others, being kind and empathetic, that will encourage, enlighten, and heal those around you. So you have a choice to make. Do you want to be the, po the disease that poisons and destroys our world? Or do you want to be the cure that heals and empowers our world to greatness? We want you to accept our challenge and start a kindness chain reaction and just maybe make the world a better place, one act of kindness at a time. So here we go. This week's challenge is to say thank you to as many people in your life as you can. Anyone who has helped you in some way, family, friends, teachers, coaches, church members, etc. If you should have any questions or comments, please contact Mrs. Steger or myself or any Four Club member. Um, you can reach us by stopping by Mrs. Steger's room, email, or Schoology. Good luck with this challenge. And remember, the Four Club has your back. Thank you for your help in making Northeastern a place for all to feel safe and happy and empowered to do great things. The Four Club is actually kicking the challenge off today, so after you complete the kindness challenge, you can sign the sheet in the cafeteria. We'll take you guys to sports right after this. Sunday, December 4th from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. is the Silence Ends Here Volleyball Tournament. This tournament is to raise money for the Silence Ends Here program, which is a nonprofit organization that helps promote mental health awareness and suicide prevention. Admissions to sit and watch on the day of the tournament is $1 per person. Registration is $6 per team, with teams consisting of two people of any gender. The registration deadline is Monday, November 21st. All students were sent an email to their student account in relation to the event. Good morning, everyone. Here are today's sports announcements. Starting Monday, December 7th, indoor track practices will be Mondays and Wednesdays from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in the Fitness Center with Coach Bradley. If you have any questions, please see Coach McCollum. Now here's the lunch menu. And Monday's lunch will be homemade chili and pretzel bits. Sandwich of the day is barbecue, chicken and turkey club wrap. And there will be garlic French bread pizza in the pizza line, and that is for today. And for tomorrow's breakfast, we're having a Dutch waffle or French toast. And tomorrow's, tomorrow's lunch will be a hot dog bar with fixin. Sandwich of the day is toasted cheese and pepperoni or ham and cheese on a croissant. And there will be ham and pineapple pizza in the pizza line. We'll take it to Devin right after this. Um, I'm thankful for my teammates and my coaches. I'm thankful for my family, friends, and Carly Blau. I'm thankful for my friends, family, and ice cream. All my great friends, my bros, my team, playoffs, and uh, Jesus Christ. I'm thankful for Irene. I'm thankful for Clover. <laughs> All right, as you can see, it is 35 degrees out right now, and it feels about 34 in this room. We're going to take it to the five day. So, you know, it's about in the 40s most of the way through the week. I don't understand because last week it was like 60 degrees out, but now you've got to break out your winter jackets. Uh, it looks like it's going to be sunny, partly cloudy, and maybe showers on Thursday. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Devin. So we have a movie choice on Wednesday. And that is Daddy's Home, starring Will Ferrell and Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Just Minus Mark the Wahlberg. Funky Bunch. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, that's it from us. From all of us here at High Street Morning News, we wish you a spectacular day. Stay classy, Northeastern.